Most people believe that they can never become rich or a millionaire. But fortunately, when you look at the statistics for millionaires, an absolutely huge percentage of millionaires are made and not born into the wealth. So that fact alone suggests you can become wealthy without being born wealthy. But what are some of the traits that are actually inherent in millionaires? These are three traits that I've noticed in other people that have actually made over a million dollars a year that are friends or acquaintances that I think you can apply to your life right now. What's up guys, Alex Hine, author of the book, Master the Day. Now I've included a free goal setting worksheet down below. So if one of your goals is to get wealthy or get rich or just do better financially, the first link below that goal setting sheet can help you do exactly that. All right, so sign number one, you will get rich one day. Is that, surprise, surprise, you tithe. Now tithing I think is an old Jewish custom where you give 10% of your income to the church. But the way I think about tithing is giving a certain percentage of your income to charity or to somebody else. I started setting up this automated transfer of just a couple percent of my income to begin with, like a hundred bucks a month. And I started just tipping one random barista generously or someone at a restaurant or gave it to a homeless person or helped out my friends or my family. And I noticed that tithing by itself does a few miraculous things. Even Tony Robbins commented that John Templeton, who was a billionaire investor, said that he had not seen anyone seriously tithe for a decade who hadn't achieved a level of at least some serious wealth. The reason for tithing working so well is that, first and foremost, you have to pay attention to your finances. You have to actually be observing where your money is coming from and where it goes and how much you're spending. So it's just like keeping a budget. If you're giving 10% of your salary to charity, you need to be able to see if you can afford that. And the second thing is tithing teaches you that, guess what? You can always make more money. And that money is just a form of energy in the universe that we exchange as currency. And you can always make a ton of it. There's an unlimited amount of money, theoretically, out there in the billions of humans. The second habit that will lead you to being rich is that you're willing to live like only 1% of the world is, instead of trying to look rich, you wanna be rich. So in my early 20s, I was dating this girl that I was really into, and I was just a tryhard. I was really trying hard to impress her. I wanted to win her over, I really liked her, I didn't wanna lose her, and so I was just trying super, super, super difficult to basically not be myself. Like half of myself on that date was myself, half of myself was trying to impress her with like, yeah, I'm thinking about doing this and like, I want to get this kind of house and this is what, like I want my ultimate career aspirations to be. I was trying so hard to look a certain way, which was not me currently. Maybe in the future it would have been, but right now it wasn't. And I find that so many people are too busy trying to look rich instead of be rich. Looking rich means getting an apartment or a car you can't afford. Being rich means getting an apartment or a car that lowers your social status perceived by your friends and acquaintances, but you have way more money in the bank that you can save, you can invest, you can take interesting trips all over the world every year. It's the Joneses paradox because so many people get caught up in this LA-like vision where you try to look it before you have it. And that's called being a liar. That's called being fake. So if you don't have the money to buy these things, stop trying to look the part. The reality is when you focus on being rich, which means budgeting, doing the daily rituals that are gonna help you save money, not overspending, not trying to look cool prior to when you actually have the income to build a cool external life. It's don't try to be cool. Be the one who's making the smart decision that'll put you in a great place financially two to three years from now. So instead of trying to look rich, actually be rich. And the people who are being rich are doing the rituals and the daily habits which make their lives look unsexy right now, externally for a while. But in the long run, it's gonna get you exactly what you want. Now the third thing, the third sign that you're gonna be rich one day is that you don't follow the pack. Do you think any of the billionaires on earth got to where they were by following some Quora or Medium or YouTube video? Like they read an article on how to become a billionaire, that's how they became a billionaire? 
No, there's so few people on earth that have become billionaires that there is no roadmap. So by definition, you cannot almost be a follower and have massive wealth. It doesn't mean you can't follow breadcrumbs others have left or emulate what they've done, but the solution is instead to seek what they sought, not try to follow in their exact same footsteps, like the Basho quote. So what that means is you trying to figure out your own unique path to getting there. Because yes, becoming rich is great as one thing, but being rich and miserable is far worse because you think you got the thing was gonna, that was going to make you happy and solve everything for you. And now you've got it and you're not, and it's like you're running out of options. Where else do I go to get my happiness? The reality is that when you are a leader and a follower, you're consciously designing your own life in the way you want to live it. And ultimately, if you don't enjoy today, you never will, no matter how much money you make. If you don't enjoy the next nine hours today, you're never going to enjoy it even if you're a billionaire. So think about that and then design the life you want today that will then allow you to have those other trappings of success later. Because that is a successful life filled with fulfillment. So I hope those three habits help you. Those are real habits I've noticed in people that I know as friends who make over a million dollars a year. Now, the first link in the description is for a free goal setting worksheet. If you would like to reinvent your financial life or potentially get rich one day, start by setting your vision down there below. And then you can check out my last related videos on this topic right over there.